Today we have our uniforms. Come on students, come in. We have your uniform. Congratulations. Edgar, we do not have those yet because the one I found out Goodwill had a peace stain all over it. And it also costs too much money. We will get you yours next time, my son. Master Wu, mine says Steve on it. Like I said, Goodwill discount deals are where it's at. And this is a ketchup stain. Oh, that is not ketchup, Olivia. That is dry boy. <laughs> Someone probably died. Okay, where is your reindeer? Oh, I was hungry for lunch. I see. Well, that is very interesting, Edgar. Now, let us recite the old chant. Come on, my children, come inside. Get your uniform on. Do not dilly dally. Wait, Let's what? go. What chant? We Are you ready? To memorize it on the back of the flyer. <laughs> Useless, but still. everybody in the honor ground and be ready to recite. Feel the towel. I am sorry to my brother Chan and my grandma too. May peace be on your ancestors as you learn Kung Fu. Oh, such relief we feel as we try at our best. May immigration never come, nor the IRS. Perfect. Good job, oh, students. That was about this on the back of the flyer. Oh, that must have been my big watch coupon. I mess that up sometimes. I'm sorry, Edgar. But now you know for next time what to learn. Okay, now for the Taoist peace offering. Okay, peace on you, peace on your family, peace on your ancestors. Feel relief at all the peace you offer on everyone you know. Peace on the world. Okay, Edgar, peace on you, peace on your family, peace on everyone you know. Offer a peace to everyone you see. Peace on everybody. That is the way a chant will come through. Yes. Now we will move on to our lesson. Stop praying, this is not Catholic Church. Okay. <coughs> we will be learning how to cure our fears. Now, Edgar, what are you afraid of? Bugs. Lo lo lots of bugs. Olivia, what are you afraid of? Well, there's bees, snakes, otters, crayons, soup, iguanas, zebras, chihuahuas, pepperoni, wigs, country music, Bollywood music, movies, and JV, as well as golf. Okay, Olivia, just stop. You are only allowed to have five. Pick your top five fears and get rid of the rest, okay? Good. Is that possible? Yes, it is the rule of the rule. You can have five years, no more, no less. So you better find four more things to be afraid of by next week or I will have to banish you from my dojo. Can I be afraid of you? Yes, that is a wonderful choice. Good job, Edgar. Now, let us move on to the lesson. Curing your fears. We will learn a move that will make you afraid of nothing. In order to cure your fear of something, you must make it afraid of you. So whenever it sees you, it will run away. What is the move? It is called the spooky snake dance. <gasps> oh, All the more reason to become the thing you fear the most. You will be able to understand it and make it fear you more. How do I become you? You can't. Don't even try. Alright, now let's learn the move. First, you must howl like a wheezing goddess. Next, you must crouch and creep like a snaky kangaroo. And finally, you must howl like an angry mother chicken and bob your head. And the last step to finish it off like the chair on an ice cream sundae is you must jump up and say, Fear me! And the thing will then be afraid of you. So watch again and then try it on your own. Okay, wheeze. Kangaroo. Chicken. Fear me! And then wiggle like a soba noodle that is uncooked. Fear me! And the thing will become afraid. Okay? 
I'll try it. Um, how do you know this will work? I was afraid of tea once. Hear me. The tea shook because the table shook. No, Edgar! It shook with fear! Very good, Passion Olivia. You are improving every day. Thank you, Master Wu. I think I can now add you to my list of five fears. <laughs> <laughs> what are you afraid of? Oh, my biggest fear is my daughter. Why are you afraid of your daughter? My daughter, Chang Chang Wu Lang. This is my Chang Chang Wu Lang shrug. I every day pray that Chang Chang Wu Lang will never come back to see me again. Oh, Why? Child. Oh, boy. Where do I even begin? My beautiful baby. She's about to say her first word. Kung Fu. Swung punch, just like her father. Father, do you want to see my latest move? <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, Chang Chang. I know you meant no harm. I know just what will make you feel better. Let's practice kendo. Chang Chang, why? Father, it's you. I finally found you. Chang Chang, how did you find me? I found your father. See? Father, do you want to see my latest move? It could practically kill a man. Since your students are here anyway, why don't I try it on you? Come on, Daddy, it'll be fun! Kill? Kill? Independent practice time! Oh. Wait! Wait for me! Should we help him? Well, he is a Kung Fu master after all! He should be able to handle himself! Then why did he run? Because he wanted to keep us safe. Now we should probably be practicing the spooky snake dance, obviously. on the next episode of Shanggu Kung Fu.